Hi. I have my lesson in my journal. I decided to use it because I needed a new one. And it's just kind of easy and messy to bites out of it. <laughs> but you know what that showed me um, real quick? So do you see how it's not perfect, but it's still enough. And so metaphorically speaking, we are not perfect. We're not meant to be perfect, but we sure are enough. And so um, I had to reframe that because at first I was like, why are you chomping on my things? She chomps on everything, that little missy, missy's my rabbit, if you guys don't know the name. Um, so we're not meant to be perfect. And that's probably why she did it, right? And we're enough, always and forever, regardless, despite and probably because, right, of our imperfections. This is Friday lesson. When you get pulled, pushed, tugged, demanded, expected, obligated to be in 20 different places. You can only choose one. You can only be in one place at one time, right? Fully present in the moment in one place at one time. You must choose what that place is right? When you are being pulled in so many different directions, as so many of us perhaps are at this point in time, there's only one you can go in. And you have to choose wisely, right? You have to choose the path that makes the most sense for you at that given moment. And I had to choose. I chose of all the 20 different places, I chose one. And that was to go within. I needed to go inside. So I was needed in Arizona. I was needed in the hospital. I was needed on Darman said I was needed at the event with Catherine and Shantae. And despite all the things that were happening, there was one place that was sure that I knew I needed to be. And that was within. I needed to get centered. I needed to um, have my moments of silence and quiet. I needed to have my moments of reflection and understanding so that I could draw the lessons that I knew were being presented. I chose to go inside because going within is the only way that you will not get pulled into the quicksand that will get you into it quicker than quick, right? And the ways that it manifests for each of us can be very different, right? Like I choose meditation. It could be writing for you. I guess that's journaling as well. Um, it could be drawing or music or whatever it is for you, right? So how can you go within so that you can cherish what wants to come out. And that for me has been such a big lesson because we're in such a time in society where we have to go, go, go. And it's like, no, I can't stop. I can't stop. If I stop, everything will fall. Everything will, you know, come undone. And it's like, no, when you stop and you are still, you have an opportunity to balance things better, right? You can't balance things when you're off balance. You can only balance when you have steadiness within. But we have to remember it and we have to apply it in that moment. So you have to be selfish with your self-care. It's like the sort of thing where it's like, it's not a selfishness that wishes harm on others. It's a selfishness that when you realize you need to take care of yourself first and foremost, that it is in those moments that you can take care of your responsibilities and of your loved ones. So I had to get selfish. I had to stop everything that wasn't right in front of me. And I ask you and I invite you to do the same. What is not right in front of you that you need to do? Put it on the back burner. It doesn't need to get done right now. And that is part of self-care and self-love, right? When I take better care of myself, I can take better care of you. 
You can't come at things from a, a depleted place. You have to be full in order to give. And so it just feels like taking a, a step back. And sometimes you have to take a couple steps back to propel forward. Because when you propel forward, you want to do it with gumption, with energy, with passion and motivation and excitement and enthusiasm. It doesn't make sense to move forward begrudgingly or exhausted, unmotivated, because that gets undone. But when you do things with the right energy, that is built on the foundation and it's solid versus being wishy-washy. And I wrote here, and I will say it, and only then do you catch and ride the wave because otherwise the wave will take you under if you're not strong enough to stand. That for me encapsulates this whole lesson for me and for us, right? I think I want to read it. You have to be selfish in your self-care journey and not in an F everything kind of way, but in a way that when I take care of myself, I can take better care of you kind of way. You can do more and be more for those you love. And only then do you catch and ride the wave because otherwise the wave will take you under if you're not strong enough to stand. So yes, I repeated myself and you know what? It begs repeating because these are things that we've heard plenty before, but yet we still act like we've never heard it before because we're not applying it. So this is my message to you today. If you're feeling the tug and pull, take time out. That is what is required. Only in those moments can you hear from whoever it is that, you know, guides you what it is that you need to do next. And in this moment, I will also wait for it, guys. Can you see that? There we go. There we go. Ah! So this is just um, like a, a proof, right? This isn't uh, the final, but I just wanted to show you that they are coming. Um, it's hard to play with the light. <laughs> Do you like it? I feel like putting something down there. What can I put? I want to put that, something down there. That's a fun place to put something. Mm. Happy Friday, yay, Fry Fam! <laughs> I'm excited about that. There's a couple things, finishing touches. As you know, the month of February has been wacky, so I haven't been working um, on my things as much, right? I've been taking care of others um, because all I could do was take care of um, my internal working. Once in a while, uh, when I was growing up as a as a teen, my mom put us in in, in kickboxing and taekwondo. And so I do love to box and um, I'm a little rusty right now because <laughs> I'm out of shape. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, I have good stance because I, I had a, a really awesome trainer who would be like, cover your face, protect your face. And I'd be like, okay, so I do um, have good form. I'll leave it at that. Don't ask me to do any kicks though. <laughs> I'm not doing any kicks right now. First, I'll probably split my jeans. <laughs> so the punches are okay, but I'm not doing any kicks. I'm so out of shape, but that was fun. Thank you. I'm so happy that we did this today. Stay tuned for um, what's to come. Uh, these will be dropping soon as well as that other surprise I have for you. Let me get a little bit more confident in um, how it's coming together so that I can share. Oh, I bid you like amazing Friday, yay, weekend yay, Saturday yay, wherever yay you are. <laughs> um, I'm just so happy to be here with you guys. All right, guys, I love you all.
happy weekend yay and um take good care of yourselves and um be amazing bye for now bye everybody so if you liked this video go check out the others i got lots of videos on this channel so keep watching